All right, so we're gonna to go to Frio COT. So what you're gonna do, uh, these are the currencies. We don't, we don't care about the grants, nothing like that, livestock. We're gonna only focus on the currencies, okay? You got, they got indexes and all that. So it's different how to read it, but how I'm gonna show you how to read this is only for currencies, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna write down the currency that's listed on your, on your um, paper or your notes or your iPad or whatever. You wanna go ahead and click on COT. Once you click on this, it's kind of less confusing, right? Yeah. Yeah. All you're gonna focus on is the dealer intermediary. That's it. Who cares about all these? Just focus on the dealer. What does it focus say? Focus on the dealer. Long positions, right? You got, it's not 2,000, it's, those, it's millions of dollars, but this just tells you in layman's terms, 2,434 positions. They added 36 positions. Right. Okay, so this is 2,000 positions, right? Gotcha. And then they're, they're shorting 52,592 positions and they added 1,245 positions. Uh -huh, so down. what are the what is the ratio from the long to the short? It's a big ratio, you know? So There's if you scroll two. down, once you, once you write this down, you scroll down and AUD is 95.5% short for the week. Mm, so it's a sell. Or it's, a, it's a short, so it's a sell. It's a sell, 95.6. The currency itself, not just the currency just a itself, whole. is yeah. going to be a sell for the following week mm. because they're putting so much money in short positions. Right. Wow. So this, this report is good for one week. Like this one report week. is good for, so this report is released every Friday at 3 p.m. Every Friday at 3, 3 p.m. 4 p.m. Once you do, so that I do that every Friday, bro. I go, if the COT, so look, What's, what, what's today's date? 27th. Okay. On the 29th, this, it's not going to say 29th. It's going to say, uh, it's going to say 26. Okay. When you see 126, that means this is good. If you see 119 still, that's, they haven't updated it yet. Okay? Yeah, so that's about the right. The reason why they already do this ahead of time see what i'm saying so by tuesday they already know what they're doing for the next their, for the next couple of days for the following week right? mm. pretty much so on tuesday of last week this i mean uh tuesday of this uh of last week for the following week this is what they did so friday coming up we, I, we don't know what the banks did tuesday where they put their positions at because everything's happening as we speak tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday, we don't find out till Friday what the banks did. Right. But it gives you a linear, and uh, it gives you at least one or two days next week to know where the banks are putting all their money at. So Friday comes, we whatever's happening right now as we speak, that's where the banks are putting their money. We don't know what they what they did till two till Friday at four. Once this, um, once you see one twenty six then everything's updated, then you get to see what the banks did, okay? So this is gonna help you out for at least Sunday, for at least two days, okay. two to three days. So once you figure out this is a short, that's what you write down, you write AUD, yeah, that's yeah. and you write an S. S, so you want to do this for every pair. Every pair you want to do. So I'm not going to do everyone. So let's do the U.S. dollar. So are, are we uh, long or short according to our positions? Long. Why are we long? There's more positions. So we have more positions on the longs. Right. So how, how, how long are we on the U.S. dollar? 85.8%. So, so we have five. As of, uh, let's say the market opens Sunday. I'm looking to buy USD because it's going to be strong. And sure enough, what did USD do? Uh, yeah, shot up. Boost it up Monday. Yep. Shot up high. You know, so. So on Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we could have been ready Monday for 
Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Friday, either Sunday or Monday, you gotta see what's going on. Yeah. So what you wanna do is come. You wanna see how many shorts and longs you have. If you go to Euro, is Euro short or long for the week? Short. 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 Very Bro, short. This, this is millions of dollars there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Euro, but Euro has been short for a very long time. And they are 90, 94% short. So that means it's a sell. How do you pair up these pairs? You're always gonna pair up, your first pair is always your first currency. It's the strongest It's gonna be your strongest currency. Right. So whatever it is in the front, if it's shorter, if it's um, stronger or weak, that's where price is gonna go. So you wanna pair your shorts with your longs. For this week, the only long we had was, was, uh, was the US dollar. We had no other longs, but the US dollar. Every other currency was short. So, uh, Euro has to be on the left side? Is that, or yeah. Euro has to be on? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. if Euro's first and, you, and USD is second, USD. if USD is bullish and Euro is short, where's price going? Down. down. Why? Because the, the first pair, whatever the pair, first pair says, and your second pair is the opposite, then price is going down. Going so let's 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 look at it. At it uh, you want to see an example of the chart? Yeah, yeah. Let's just say we go to Euro. Let's go to Euro USD. Let's see how this correlated with uh, with uh, this. Is that Euro USD? Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, you okay? Yeah. Euro yeah, USD. Yeah. All right. So the market opened. This is a new day, new day, which is Wednesday for us. Uh, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. So market opened Sunday. It pulled up, but what did it do? Drop. So down, and then it, it created consolidation. Pulled up, but never broke this high. This was the highest high, and it consolidated. Boom, 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 boom. and then. It goes that drop. Mm. So what they're doing here, they're just, you know, collecting, collecting stops, you know, making people things that go up. And then if they weren't paying attention, they close them out right here for 40 pigs. So they're messing with people's mind. So they're collecting all that money. So whenever they're ready, they pulled up here. My money. <laughs> Everybody was buying and the people that were buying and they didn't move their stop loss. Uh, they the kept people think you know kept showing resistance here until they finally dropped it 100 pips. Damn, 100 pips. 100 pips. Now, price is coming up to retest anytime that because this low, what did it break? It broke this here. So now we're starting a new market structure. So now, if this is our now, it's going to form a, 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 a higher low, then this. High break this high? No. What did it do? It rejected. It back down. Now we're kind of forming to see. Now we're looking to see what's going to happen. Right. So you, you're not even. I wouldn't even do anything yet because it's not even really a clear setup yet. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen here before I even sell this down again. So this price could easily come up and break this. So what you want to do? That's what we had the, the CTD on, right? Yeah. Yeah, just market structure. If price stays right here, and, and it starts to come down, and then it's not going to come back up. I'll probably come test here. This next area of support. And if it breaks that, you already know market structure. Piece one, piece. I don't know. We have a peak arrow here, so this pretty much tells us that price is coming down because of all this volume that came down. So, that's that's how the COT. The COT report does every Friday, I do the COT.